Hey, what's up guys? Flick here and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 16 Liverpool career mode. We're going to get right into a press conference and after the last episode, we have closed the gap between ourselves and Chelsea with the points gap currently being four points. Still a couple of Premier League matches left in the season. We're going to have to rely on Chelsea losing a couple of games, but we need to focus on winning. Now to give you guys an update on the poll results from the last episode, you guys seem to really be enjoying the goal celebration music after we do score a goal. So we're going to keep that going forward. And also, it looks like you guys are most interested in a La Liga one season challenge career mode. So I'll keep you guys updated on the teams I'll choose for that and get a poll going in the future. For all of you that have been following this career mode since the start, I don't think there's too much of a question what my favorite skill move is. Now a chance to burba spin inside. It's the burba spin. For FIFA 17, I have already started to think out what kind of content I do want to make, and I'm not entirely sure that the journey is going to be something that falls into the videos I will be making, at least not at the start. Personally, I like to make content that sticks out from the crowd. It allows me to differentiate myself from everyone else that makes crew mode videos, and I'm not sure the journey best allows me to do that. Don't get me wrong though, I love that EA have made an improvement to crew mode and have introduced a new game mode, however, I don't think it's the best for my channel at the start of FIFA 17. As we take a look at the calendar, my goal for this episode is to finish up March and starting with a quarterfinal match in the FA Cup against Everton, who are having a relatively good season in the Premier League, and they won't be easy for us to get by. But then getting into our midweek fixture, it's going to be a round of 16 tie in the Champions Cup against FC Bayern. However, we did beat them 4-0 in the first leg, so I think I'm going to bring out my second team for this game and allow my first team to play in this match against Everton. We'll simulate against Leicester City because they are currently sitting 17th in the league table when we play him on the 17th. I kind of like that. And then ending off the episode after the international break with a home match against Southampton. Following a break in the previous episode, our first team will feature in this match against Everton. I'm assuming they're also going to bring out a very strong starting 11. Here is the Everton team for this match at Goodison Park. They have signed Slomani and he was a troublesome player for us in our previous fixture against Everton. Here's Slomani on the ball. I was just talking about him. He will lay it off to Morales. And now sending it across. It's a good one. What a save by Karios. I thought that was in the back and then I almost dropped my controller. But we need to get this one cleared out. It's away. And what a freaking save by Karios. You guys need to applaud him from home. Here's a look at the replay. And he had it covered by quite a bit. Mohamed Besic on the ball for Everton. We're not really closing him down. And now Delafeu. Going to be dribbling this one in for Everton. We need to deal with it. I don't know if that was a shot or a pass, but regardless, it's out for a goal kick. Here's big Kevin Morales dribbling this one in. Willie Crosser doing himself. Diego Goudin puts in a good tackle, and he's starting to find his place in this defense. He had a shaky start when we signed him, but he's starting to impress me more and more. Emery Chan playing this one forward. Spots out Lionel Messi making a good run, and the over-the-top through ball is a good one. Messi getting on his left foot here. Can he bang one? And it ends up getting in the middle of the 18-yard box. But Everton, once again, clearing it out. And it's been a dangerous first half for both teams getting chances. But the defense is playing strong. Big steal there by David Alaba. Let's do something with it. Come on, boys. Playing the through ball. And now a lot of space for Luis Suarez to run onto this one. Has the crossing opportunity, but he's going to dribble this one a little bit more. Now playing it in the middle. Can we finish? John Stones, big deflection right there. Here we are at halftime, and it's been a first half largely dominated by Everton, hanging on to 62% of the possession and really trying to work their crosses in. Karius has played well. Our defense has played relatively well, but we need to get more attacking options. Messi to take on the Everton defense, and Slomani trying to track him down, but Messi still on it here. Burba spinning inside. And could he do something here for us? Getting by more Everton defenders. And wow, we get a goal from kickoff. We haven't been able to break down Everton's defense all game. And Lionel Messi single-handedly gets us the first goal. And I think this could be the first of many. Oh, Coutinho. He takes the ball away from John Stones. Has options in the middle. Could sweat this one. And that's not the sweat I wanted, but Lionel Messi tucks it away quite nicely on his right foot, picking up another goal in this game. With a comfortable lead, we'll make some changes to our midfield. Coutinho coming off and Adam Alana being brought on. And in addition, Daniel Sturridge being brought on for Luis Suarez. Oh, that's a good ball by Everton. Now Slomani through on goal. What is our defense doing? Kind of caught sleeping, but we do end up collecting, getting that one out. Well, Everton have pushed up at this point. They're trying their best to stay in the FA Cup, but I'm not sure there's enough time left in this game. And since they brought people forward, we're open to the counter. 
Daniel Sturge making a great run right here, and he has an option on the left. Could use the pass, still with it. Now plays it across. We're just going to dribble that one in. That's an easy goal, and Marco Royce with the cheeky shot. After scoring that third goal, we'll give Ozzy Akup a chance to rest up. We may well use him in that game against Bayern, and we will bring Milner on. We could even get a fourth goal as we do the short corner kick. Marco Royce to dribble it in. He, of course, has great dribbling ability, but Messi, another player with some good dribbling ability, doing a little stop and turn. Still on the ball here. Now a heel-to-heel -heel flick. Kevin Morales gets the tackle in. Messi ends up with it. He'll try to cross it in, but it was a foul. We really turned things around in the second half, getting a lot more shots on target and closing that possession gap. Well done by the boys. And once Messi got that first goal, the confidence was there. Unless Bayern can get a massive turnaround in this game, I think all things point to us advancing in the next round of the Champions Cup. And as such, we have brought out a very rotated team, giving some of our younger players a start in this one. Bayern doing everything in their their power to get themselves back in this competition but I just don't see ourselves conceding four goals. Smith now playing this one inside to Daniel Sturridge. He will try to use a couple of skill moves to get around the Bayern defense. Now getting in a good position has the chance to play this one out wide. We're going to work it around some more. Smith with a long shot attempt and he's not going to be able to beat Manuel Neuer from there. Flanagan, good steal. He'll play this one in the middle. And now it's going to be Timo Yunus. He can bang in a long shot. And oh my goodness, Timo Yunus has just scored on Manuel Neuer. And I'm going to say it right now. These German giants will be looking at this young kid. And they're going to try to pick him up. And this is the beauty about Youth Academy players. Sometimes, despite their rating, they can pull off things like that. Milner playing this one forward, and it's going to be Timo Yunus once again, showing his pace and getting by these Bayern defenders. He's been the standout player in this game, and now he's mugging them off with skill moves. Getting in another long shot minded position, Milner now will crack one. Neuer has to pull off a save. We're going to let Timo Yunus get more and more chances. I'm loving how he is playing right now, and maybe he can be a bit unselfish here and try to find the pass. Here we go. Going to play it in the middle to Smith. Returning the favor over to Eunice, gets by a couple players, and Milner gets fouled inside the box. Milner, being the one that got fouled in the best penalty kick taker, will take this one. Three bars of power off to the right, and Manuel Neuer dove the right direction, but it's 2-0 for us with a very second-tier squad. Oh, they get a goal back. Fair play by Lewandowski, getting the first goal out of two matches for FC Bayern. Still a five-goal differential in the aggregate, and there's no way they're coming back from that. Halftime stats coming your way, and man, oh man, we are dominating in this game. Five shots, four on target, 58% possession. We're going to look to continue what we're doing. Corner kick for Bayern. It's going to be Pepe Reina coming out, and they're going to head this one back in. That's a mistake by our defense. We're a little bit shaky in this game. Although we have such a large lead, I still want to play well because we're going to have tougher opposition in future rounds. We can't play like this against different teams. Maybe that's the inexperience coming into play. We'll take a look at this replay, what exactly happened. And to be fair, I think that was Joshua Kimmich winning a header, and Pepe Reina shouldn't be coming out on those. With 30 minutes remaining in this game, we're going to use two substitutes right about now and continue to bring on some younger players. Christian Pulisic coming on for Herving Lozano at the left wing, and at right wing, Markovic will be coming off, and Ryan Kent being brought on. Corner kick for us, and it's going to be Timo Yunus once again to dribble it in. And using some LTRT to create some space. Waiting for someone to get open on the edge. It's going to be Matip using a fake shot. Now powering the shot. That had a lot of power behind it, but not accurate enough. Yo, that's a tackle from behind, and Paul Pogba might be sent off. There it is, a straight red, stupid tackle, and he pretty much stuck in a, a leg into the back of one of our players. Didn't have a lot of power behind it, but the ref's going to get a red every single time. The match comes to a close, and in all honesty, this was just a game to further familiarize ourselves with some of our Youth Academy players, and Timo Yunus continuing to show why he's a promising player for us. Another monthly scouting update coming through from Scotland and continuing to find high potential Scottish players. The 69 to 93 to start off the scouting report, now continuing 63 to 85. 67 to 89 56 to 74 and finally a 62 to 86 we won't be taking any chances against Leicester City bringing out our first team and trying to pick up this win and keep the pressure on Chelsea with this being an away match you never know how things are going to go whether the home team's going to win or whether the superior away team will pick up the win and Damari Gray gets the first goal but Luis Suarez strikes right back and we go into the halftime break tied up one to one couple of substitutions being made and David Alba coming off with a red card but Marco Royce 
Joyce does get another goal, making it 2 to 1 for us. Can we hang on with this last 10 minutes or so and pick up the full three points? Yes, we will, and we get the 2 to 1 win. I've just realized we've had another youth scouting report end, so once again, we'll be sending a scout to Africa for three months, but this time around, it will be to Ghana looking for a winger. Jonas Hector and Sadio Mane getting the nod to start in this game against Southampton. Hector's getting the start because Alba picked up a red card in the previous Premier League fixture, and Mane went to me before the match and said he wanted to get some play time. Hopefully, he can live up to his word and perform well. Chelsea continuing their winning form, but it really won't take much for us to catch up with them. Only four points separate us and them, and Southampton having a very underwhelming season. We should be able to get this win. This Southampton team, though, is a pretty nice looking one. They have brought in Dos Santos to pair up with Charlie Austin up top. They've got some solid players, and we can't take them lightly. A corner kick for us, and as we usually do, we'll try to dribble this one in and now send in the cross with Coutinho. It's a decent one, and he's going to get the ball back once more. Gaston Ramirez getting a leg in, and Charlie Austin regaining possession for Southampton. They have a chance to get on the counter. James Ward Prowse finding Giovanni Dos Santos, Nathaniel Klein, big steal, and has room in the middle here. Well played in the middle. Emre Chan now over to Ozia Coop. Can he bang it a long shot? He was about to wind it up and shoot, but the defense getting a block in. Coutinho. Now to Emre Chan. Over to Luis Suarez. Has space on the left. Can use a burber spin to cut this one inside. Now a finesse shot. A couple of our players got in the way, but it ended up working out for Luis Suarez. Emre Chan kind of set it up for himself unintentionally, and we get the 1 0 lead. Oh, good passing here by Southampton. James Ward Prowse laying off a pass, and what a shot. Was that Gio Dos Santos? The CPU scoring some remarkable goals this season, and that certainly being one of them. Beautiful goal by Gio Dos Santos. And there's really not much Karis could have done about that one. It was good passing play to even set that up, and that could be a contender for Premier League goal of the season. There's Sadio Mane. He hasn't really done much in this game, but that doesn't mean it's too late for him to do something. Getting by a defender with these, and now he's going to try to dribble this one in. He has lots of options around him. I think he's going to do it himself. No, he's going to lay it off to Messi. Missed that one with his strong foot. I can't believe that. Oh, good steal by Ozia Coop. He's done well to regain possession for us. Now with Burba spin inside, waiting for more options, it's going to be Philippe Coutinho. Has some great dribbling ability. And looking to find Ozia Coop here. Shoot this one right at Gazanigan. Can we follow it up with a header? No, it's cleared out by Southampton. It's been a pretty entertaining game in the first half. By the statistics, you could say that we've been the dominant team. And Southampton technically not registering a shot. But that Gio Dos Santos shot was certainly a shot in my book. It should be a good second half here. I think if we can continue to apply the pressure, get more shots on Gazaniga, we can pick up this three points. I like this. Don't do me like this. Jordan Classy on the ball. He's going to look for a crossing opportunity. Now playing this one in the middle, it's Rodriguez over to Austin. He could shoot it. we got to close him down. Don't let him shoot. Gio Dos Santos now in the box. It's Jimenez coming to the rescue, and Hector clears it out for the second time. We have a counterattacking chance now. Sadio Mane sees the run being made. We're going to let him run a little bit more, and now playing through to Emre Chan. A lot of space in front of him. Can he finish this one on the near post? Emre Chan, that's the kind of finish I was looking for, and continuing to improve his finishing. I say it every single time he scores a goal, but I can't say it enough. I'm so proud of how much he's improved this season. With that goal, we'll make a few substitutes. Marco Royce coming on, and I think he can score himself a goal coming in for Sadio Mane. In addition to that, we're going to bring Lalana on for Philippe Coutinho, and those are the only subs I'm going to make right now. Later on in the match, as Southampton do push forward, I'll likely bring Nicolas Sula on for Godin. We can't regain possession right now, guys. Southampton sending in the ball. And are they really going to score on that? Are you kidding? And of course, it's Shane Long of all players to score. He got a ton of goals against us the last time we played Southampton. And he does it again here. I'm so salty about those kind of performances because we outplayed Southampton in that game. They had that incredible goal by Gio Dos Santos and some BS header in the 80-something minute with Shane Long. And it is what it is, but it's been like this all season. We can't catch a break. Well, boys, the luck is on our side right now. The points gap now down to three. Chelsea with an eight-goal goal differential lead. And I think we need to go all out for the remainder of this season. It is very likely that we could end up equal on points. And we need to try to get some blowout wins and try to close down that goal differential and try to overtake Chelsea. But guys, that's going to wrap things up for today's episode of the Liverpool Career Mode. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, make sure you drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are new around here. And if you're interested in following me on Twitter, Instagram, or Twitch, I have links to those platforms in the description down below. But until next time, this has been Flick. I'll be talking to you guys again soon.